It's time to do the most original thing I could do on YouTube. It's Q&A time. So earlier, I put out a community post and a tweet asking for some Q&A questions, and you guys delivered. So today, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be answering your questions. I mean, it is a Q&A after all. Questions and answers. You give the questions, I give the answers. Presume! After having the AT2020 for some time, do you still recommend it? as it is my birthday in a couple days and I want to invest in a decent microphone. Absolutely, the sound quality is way better than the Yeti. Um, there's just things you have to think about. Like if you're getting the XLR version, you're gonna need a preamp too. And if you're getting the USB version, then you're fine. But the USB version is a little more expensive. But overall, if you want to know how it sounds, I mean, I'm using it, just listen to the videos. If you like what you're hearing, Go get that qu quality yourself. What inspired you to start doing YouTube and what did you want to do when you first started? Uh, the main people that inspired me, I would say, were uh, Sky Does Minecraft for sure, uh, Jacksepticeye, oh, and DanTDM. Uh, when I first started, I wanted to be a gaming channel because I watched all these mod, uh, Minecraft mod showcases, reviews, and I just wanted to be a gaming channel and pretty much play Minecraft. And that's what I started trying to do. And then I eventually made my own sort of brand. And he, I, you know, I like where I am now. I like the videos I make. Next question is, was there someone who inspired you to start posting videos, which I just answered? How do I get my viewer count up? I've got a rebrand. My thumbnails are decent. My editing is decent. I don't know, but I'm getting really discouraged. Listen, we've all been there before. Every YouTuber has been there before getting discouraged. I have like practically quit YouTube multiple times and then come back. I would say, only do YouTube if it's fun for you or you have that burning desire down in your core to make something out of yourself with it. Uh, we all get discouraged sometimes. We all have good days. We all have bad days in terms of numbers and in, just in general too. Uh, but I did take a look at your channel. You have 13 videos and 502 subscribers and one of your videos got 569 views two weeks ago. And you have 502 subscribers. Also, your banner is pretty dope. So I don't know if you deleted videos or if those are all your videos. If those are all the videos you've ever done, you're doing great, man. You know how many videos? It took me so many videos to get to 500 subscribers. Yeah, just keep on going at it, dude. The only recommendation I have for Fortnite YouTubers is to like straight up not be a Fortnite YouTuber because it's dying out as a whole, but um, yeah, you can have fun with it. Your titles are pretty good. You're, you are getting there. You are doing pretty good. Um, it's all about exposure and luck, so uh, Keep on going. How long have you been using Sony Vegas? I've been using Sony Vegas for uh, th about three years now, I'd say. I used to use Windows Movie Maker, and I remember I first got Sony Vegas. I'd be halfway through it, and I'd be like, well, this looks so complicated. And then I'd mess one thing up, and I'd be like, ah, god damn it, it's back to Movie Maker. I don't know what I'm doing. And it took me like a whole day to edit a video that wasn't even that good. I'm just glad I'm where I'm at now, and I can actually edit well. Why did you start posting? I, I don't know. I don't really think there's a deep, deep meaning to it. I just wanted to be a YouTuber. So, um... Yeah, I'm a YouTuber now. At least one in the making. All right, that was all my replies from YouTube, so now it's time to move on to Twitter. What kind of device did you use when you began making YouTube videos? Uh, that's actually a really good question, because um, when people can see other people's roots, it really helps them sometimes. So I actually had a separate channel when I first started, and I used this really, really bad computer. I mean, it was okay for the time, but it could barely run Minecraft. And Minecraft is not that hard of a game. And then once I stopped doing my gaming videos, um, I kind of moved on to do some reviews, IRL type of videos, and I just used my phone for all of those. I literally filmed one of my first videos that got like thousands of views on like a shitty little tablet. It was my sister's tablet and recorded in a 4x3 aspect ratio, ratio. It was just god awful. Then eventually I got a laptop, I recorded some things on that, that laptop broke. Uh, it was really, it, it got bad after I dropped it. And then eventually I got my own PC. I've had three of my own PCs in the past couple years. I had a, I, I started off with a pretty bad one, but way better than what I had before. Then I got a newer one after that one didn't cut it. And then I finally built my gaming machine and this one's going to last me a bit. But yeah, I literally, I started on a tablet and now I'm on like a $1,500 PC. Just Keep on going, you'll make it there eventually. A common misconception is you just need good equipment to start or else you're not gonna get anywhere, and that's just not the case. It certainly helps, but I would say just uh, start with what you have. Why did you change your name? I, I, I didn't like it. Uh, Jacob, it was Jacob XD Gamer, which is, I, I didn't like that because it bound me to only doing gaming videos, kind of. Well, I, not necessarily, but I didn't like it because people were, would point it out too, like that I didn't do that much gaming. 
and I had gamer in the name. So eventually I just, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna shorten it. And a few months ago, I shortened it to Jacob XD. And then I just started grinding with that. And I'm like, it was doing all right, but XD, like that was a cringy thing back in 2012. And now it's just awful. I think I personally did it because I watched a lot of Disney XD. Um, but yeah, and that's the name I came up with. And then like three years ago, I changed my the, the name briefly to King Cow because I started thinking of that idea and then I changed it back because I wasn't ready for that type of commitment. But I don't know. I'm glad I changed the name now. Uh, it didn't look professional and King Cow just looks so much better. It's so much easier to brand and I can actually have something that's branded along with my channel. Like Jacob XD, I don't, I can't have like a mascot or anything. You know what I mean? But with King Cow, there's an animal in the name, so like that animal can be my logo, and that's what it is. So overall, new name, good. I like new name, and I will keep new name. And also, I just, I love cows. Same question again, who or what inspired you to do YouTube? Uh, like I said, uh, a lot of Dan TDM, this guy does Minecraft. Can I elaborate now that I've gotten this question like three times? I just watched all these YouTubers and like I saw Sky does Minecraft starting off and I just I really really liked his videos and I liked what he was doing and uh, I watched so much YouTube when I was a kid all day long I would just sit down watch Minecraft YouTube and then eventually once I got my first own PC it was really bad uh, and then I eventually got my first, and I played Minecraft a lot with my cousin, and then I eventually got my first shitty webcam, and then I'm like, now is the time. So I made this iconic video right here. My name is Jacob, and here's an introduction to my YouTube channel, Jacob XD Gamer. And that was the start to my channel. I started uploading, I did really bad Minecraft videos. Now I'm just giving my whole life story. But yeah, I mean, ever since then, I saw all my idols all in there, were all YouTubers, and I just have, I really have this deep passion to do YouTube and be like them. And that's what I've been going after ever since. And um, it's been it's been a fun ride. Okay, next question. How did you come up with your name? Like I said, it was done uh, a long time ago, and it was kind of something that resurfaced, and I really thought of changing it a lot of times. But it was funny because it was so long ago, and I'm like, no, I'm I'm t I'm too far. I can't change it now. And then once I had almost 2,000 subs, I'm like, yeah, I can change it now. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I think for like four years ago, for some reason, I just started loving cows. Like, I think I, I started it as a joke, and then that just became my thing. Like, I'm obsessed with cows. It's been my thing ever since. I also love milk, my favorite drink, because milk is amazing. And I love milk. Cows make milk. That's even a better reason to love cows. Cows are just gorgeous creatures. Uh, and they make the best drink that has ever been on the planet Earth. And then, like, I don't know, I try to think of something that sounds good with it. You think, I don't know, it popped into mind pretty quick. King Cow. It has a nice rim ring to it, and Jacob XD Gamer does not, and I'm very glad. And that is all the questions I got today. I could have let the tweets and stuff run on for longer, but, um, some people, I know, they wanted some answers, and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. If you guys ask a question, I want you to be able to get an answer pretty soon. So I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, if you want me to do another Q&A, just let me know in the comments below. I'm totally down. Uh, and then I'll send out another post when it's time. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more content like this and turn on that bell notification so you're notified for all future uploads. And uh, besides that, I will see you in my next video. Bye. When did my shit go super wide? I'm sorry.